Hi guys, I'm Lauren and I'm from Westway Nissan and today I'm going to be checking out the Nissan Qashqai with e-power. Uh, so we're going to be taking it for a test drive and having a quick look all around on the inside and the outside and showing you what it's all about. So with the Nissan Qashqai with e-power, it is pretty similar to the Nissan Qashqai with mild hybrid technology. As you can see, it is very similar in appearance. It has the daytime running lights and also the V-Motion iconic Nissan grille. And as we move to the side, we have 19 inch alloys. And moving to the passenger door, it has the keyless entr entry. So moving to the rear of the vehicle, we have the boomerang lights, which go from the back to the side. Um, we also have the Qashqai logo and the e-power logo, which can be found on either sides of the car also. And then moving to the boot, you can either open it with the key or traditionally with your hand. And it opens automatically with just the touch of the button. And again, you can shut it with just the touch of a button. And that can also be done with the key. So taking a closer look into the boot, underneath the mat we have the parcel shelves which can be lifted up to create more space and this one too. We also have a charging port in the back and you can also notice that the back seats can also be folded down flat to create more space. So in the back of the cash car, you can see there's plenty of room for anyone who wants to sit in the back. Plenty of foot space, especially in the middle as well. Um, pockets in the back of the seats for storage. And then we come to the centre console, there's aircon and two charging ports. So this particular Qashqai is an e-power powertrain, which means it's fuelled by petrol but driven by electric. So the petrol will create enough energy to create the electric for the wheels to drive forward. This means that you'll experience an electrified journey, which means it'll be quieter and more efficient. So we're now in the front of the Qashqai and when you turn it on it's really quiet like an electric vehicle and you'll hear that there's no engine noise and this is because it's an electrified powertrain because it's e-power so moving to the screen this is a 12.3 inch screen this is the main screen as you there's the maps and the music and you can connect to your phone and if we move to the side you can select home, um, navigation, music, you can select how you want to connect. This is now connected to a phone so you can scroll through, load as many apps as you like and customise the screen. And here's just the settings for the car. So as we move down um, there's some more settings for the entertainment system uh, so you can skip a song or turn the volume up and down um, these you can set the camera and look at different cameras around the car so moving down to the next section this is where you control the aircon as you can see each side you can set a temperature and each side has a heated seat and the steering wheel is also heated you can turn the fans up and down um, and here as well and moving down again this is the wireless charger um, so all you have to do is put your phone onto there and it instantly connects your phone here's another charging port in case you want to plug something in so in the centre console we can change the gears or the driving mode or alternatively, you can change the Qashqai into 100% electric. So it will not use the petrol that it's fuelled by and it will only use the batteries to power the car. 
Next is the e-pedal. Now this is really good for city driving and being stuck in traffic jams. Next button we have here is the auto park. As you can tell from the name, it helps you to park. And moving back again, we have two cup holders and the center storage. So there's two options you can have here. You can lift this up and it'll have this little tray here or you can lift this up as well and it goes much deeper and inside here we also have two charging ports so there are plenty of features in the Qashqai that help you to drive including the 10.8 inch head up display as you can see ahead of me there is uh, it tells me how fast I'm going it has traffic sign recognition and it also helps you with navigation so once you set your destination you will be able to see ahead of you where it wants you to go and how far away the next turning is. So moving down we come to the dash and as you can see it tells you how fast you're going, how much petrol you have left and we also have navigation and which radio we're listening to on this screen. You go to the next one and this is the drive computer, it tells you your average speed and how much you've got until you need to refill tyre pressure warnings, again the main navigation screen and the main music screen. This is, this screen shows the intelligent driving features that come with the Qashqai and this is the setting screen. of a drive now um, we want to try out some of the driving modes we're on a 50 mile an hour road and I'm wanting to put it into sports mode to see how it performs so that's it it's in sports mode now I can definitely feel a difference it speeds up a lot quicker in in sports mode than it does in eco mode and the transition into faster speeds is a lot smoother so I'm going to put it back into the normal drive mode. That's it, it's now in standard mode. As I said earlier, you can put it into an eco mode, which also helps the vehicle become even more efficient and you save more fuel. So another function of the Qashqai with e-power is that you can actually turn it into a fully electric vehicle. So there's a button down here that says EV, and if I just press it, it then becomes 100% electric. Now this means that it will turn off the petrol engine and it will now only be working with the battery. So this means that you won't be creating any emissions. So we've just come to a car park in the Cashco so we can test out the auto park function, which you can turn on with this button here. So you just press it and then it comes up here and you can select how you want to park so you can reverse into a bay you can drive forward into a bay or you can parallel park but since we're in a car park let's go with bay reverse so here if we look for an empty spot the car will be able to recognize the empty spot and there you go it recognizes the spot and now we can press start and the car will just take itself all you need to do is just make sure your foot is near the brake and just keep your hands near the steering wheel just in case anything happens but other than that it should fully align itself and it should be able to park perfectly on its own And that's it, it's parked perfectly and it's put the brakes on. So I just want to test out the e-pedal. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn it on and I can automatically feel a difference in the way it drives. It does drive differently. 
and it means you can actually drive the car with just one pedal which is the accelerator now it goes when you press down on the accelerator and then as soon as you lift your foot off the accelerator it instantly brakes now it won't come to a full stop but what it will do is it'll keep you at a nice slow and steady pace which is actually quite good for city driving and when you're stuck in traffic that's it for today thanks for joining us whilst we test drove and had a quick look around the cash car v power i think one of my favorite features is all of the driving modes that you can pick from sports to standard to eco and then you can drive with the e-pedal you can drive as an ev i just i really like all of the driving modes to be honest um so yeah if you have any more questions about the cash v power make sure you contact your local westway dealership